Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Keisha Bilberry, and we will move along. Along <clears throat> today, the message is wanting to be a Christian, and the scriptures are John chapter one, verse twelve; John chapter three, verse fourteen through eighteen; Acts sixteen, verse thirty and thirty-one. <clears throat> Lord, our Father, which you are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive our debt, as we forgive our debt. Forgive those who trespass and trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for that is the kingdom, power, and glory. And we thank you, Father God, on today for giving us this message that you have saved souls who come across this video. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so John chapter 1, verse 12, it says... But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. Verse 13, it says, Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Right? Now let's go to John 3, verse 14 and 18. It says, um, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. So that whosoever believes will in him have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For, for God did not send the son into the world, this is verse 17, to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Right. Now let's go to Acts uh, 13. Uh, yeah, Acts 13, um, verse 30 and 31. And, at, and after he brought them out, he says, sir, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31. They said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. So God is saying that in order to be a Christian in the Lord, that you must accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. That's how you can become a Christian. That's how you can be a, a child of Jesus Christ is by accepting him. And we all know that you want to be adopted into his family because everything that he owns, you own as well. That's how good God is. So um, I pray that those who come across this YouTube video and you want to know how to become a Christian, read those three uh, chapters, John 1 verse 12 john 3 verse 14 through 18 but there's more after that you guys you don't have to stop at 18 it gives you more information about how to become a christian in jesus and then acts uh chapter 16 verse 30 and 31 I pray that God will bless you and anoint you for such a time as this, that he will put his yoke upon you, that your, 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 uh, you won't, your heavy laden won't be so heavy. God has, you know, God loves you. He wants to bless you. He wants to give you more than what you, ex you ask for, but, but putting God first on a daily routine, putting God, seeking the kingdom of heaven, putting God first daily. That's what Jesus want us to do. And before I end this video, which I don't have much time. <laughs> okay, I have this this prayer card here. And please, uh, I would like for you to comment and subscribe to this video. And I'll be glad to give you guys these prayer cards that you can uh, mimic and make and, and send out to save as many as possible because the time is of the essence is near jesus return is imminent so you don't want to wait to the last minute god loves you he loves you don't allow what you going through to detect detect your future because it's not god loves his children so I, in this case i will pray for you guys love you and i will see you later okay Goodbye.